saw their coach sacked after just one game, a bustling crowd turned out to see just what they would expect from such a derby. Andy Pascalidis was there. Um, I've got a few options open to me, uh, obviously at this stage, and um, I'm just weighing up a few offers at the moment, and uh, I don't want to leave a decision, a final decision too late, because I want to get back into the game, it's no good waiting too long, by the same token I don't want to rush into it. So, um, even though the demise of the club uh, was sad for me, having been there so long, it's probably given me an opportunity at this stage, getting a free transfer to, uh, to do a reasonable deal for myself. Former Socceroo defender Steve O'Connor was one of over 8,000 spectators to attend the Big Sydney Derby. For O'Connor, he was at St George Stadium weighing up an offer from Olympic, one of several he's received since the demise of Sydney City. But for the large band of Olympic fans, it was a different story. In the pre-match build-up, Olympic looked somewhat more confident after last week's shock 2-0 loss to Sydney City. The sacking of coach Milan Lukic left David Ratcliffe in charge until a replacement could be found. Hey, Arnie. Oh, we're uh, pretty happy the way things have gone over Friday and over the weekend and uh, I think it's up to us now to get out there and uh, show that last week was, uh, wasn't the true Olympic and uh, show the people what we can do. And it was Olympic who came close in the 10th minute. Not a bad looking cross, Cosmina's there just over the top. Just three minutes later, Zelko Urin should have opened the scoring. On his own, Zarko and Zarkov inside, and Urin misses a completely a sitter for Sydney Croatia. Robbie Slater on the ball, can he do something? The attempted cross went way across. Gary Meyer, Australia's most underrated keeper, kept Olympic in the match with two important saves in the 17th and 19th minutes. Cross, a deep one, and Meyer just parries it away. Phillips clears it. Good understanding between the Sydney Croatia team now. Nice ball for Zarkov. Not a bad cross and Meyer was up once again. Meyer's brilliance rubbed off on his teammates and in the 27th minute, Olympic also came close. Lances breaks away with it. Cosmina's on his inside, but it went to Catalis. Can he get the shot on? He does! Just wide. The best chance for Sydney Olympic. A good build-up. Four minutes later, Olympic went one step further with Chris Galantis scoring a controversial goal. Alex the chip aim for Kalantis. Kalantis handballs and tries the shot. The goal's there. No, it stands. Chris Kalantis has scored a Tragedy struck Olympic just before the break, with Peter Raskopoulos succumbing to a recurring back injury. I felt alright all week and uh, I felt quite good during the game and then after about the 30th or 35th fifth minute. It crossed my goal to save it. But I mean Gary Meyer made a couple of great saves during the second half and if either of them went in um, that could have been the turning point. And maybe it was because Meyer couldn't be kept out of the action. Jones looking for the one-two, it's with Arnold. Great save, great reflex save again. Headed away by Ratcliffe and again by Tony Dacos, but the referee's whistle is gone. Croatia's pressure finally paid off and Arnold made it 2-1 in the 34th minute. Slater. There's Jones free on the right side. He plays it for Arnold. Slater. Arnold inside. Great move, great stuff. It's now the second goal, Sydney Croatia. A beautiful move between Robbie Slater. Great stuff. Graham Arnold gets on the score of sheet. Croatia in a 2-1 lead. The action didn't stop there and just seconds later, Remora scored one of the best goals of the season. Jones, good build up from Croatia. Can Zarkov keep that one in? He does. It's marked by Phillips. Beautiful skills from Zarko and Zarkov and the header. What a great goal! What an unbelievable goal from Ramora! It was all Zarko and Zarkov. He turned inside Phillips on that far flank, put a beautiful cross in, and a first time screamer from Ramora. 3 1 Croatia. Robbie Slater, the leading marksman in the NSL, didn't let his fans down, and he sealed the result with six minutes to go. Lays it over for Slater. Slater is Spanadakis. He goes around Spanadakis. Slater. Can he get a shot? He does. 4-1 scoreline. 
three goals coming in the last four minutes of play. And really, it's all Sydney Croatia now. Unbelievable stuff. Wait. Sorry. <laughs> Just a little bit. Sorry, all right. That's okay. <laughs> Just fix your timer. Yeah, fix that. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> OK, yeah. Zarko, tremendous result, 4-1. Croatia uh, playing the best soccer in Australia at the moment. And uh, how, how are you feeling and all the boys? Are you very happy with a great start? Yes, I'm happy, you know. We play good. The last few games we played brilliant, you know. And I don't know. we got good players and that's why we play good, I think. What about you, Zarko? Uh, you showed us quite a few good skills here today against Olympic and uh, you've been playing very well and everyone's talking about you playing for the Australian team again. How do, how do you feel about all that? Thanks, Andy. I think I play good, you know, but I'm happy, you know, I will be happy if I play for the national team because every player must, you know, uh, be happy if you, if you play for the national team. Good on you, Zarko. Nice to see you're human. What brand of uh, chewing gum was it, Andy? <laughs> okay, Adelaide City. Uh